Cheers to my little iron girls. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to be doing a what I eat in a day as well as what I take or what I do to keep my immune system up, to boost my immune system. First, we're gonna hop into breakfast. I'm gonna be doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day, um, depending on how my day is going. And we're gonna start off with breakfast. And then again, after that or in between, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I do. I'm not a doctor or anything like that, but this is what I do for my immune system. And I thank God for my immune system because besides allergies, I'd be good. So stay tuned if you want to see the rest of this video. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with breakfast. Today for breakfast, I'm going to be making a egg white wrap. Um, when I used to work near a Dunkin' Donuts, I used to get like the little breakfast wake up wraps with the egg white omelet um, and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to be making today. I'm going to be doing egg whites. And cheese on a wrap or like an omelet so let's get into it okay so first things first I have low iron right so I do not take iron pills or anything like that they don't do anything for me if they work for you they work for you that's great but instead I take this Floridex if it's pronounced correctly and this is what I found at Whole Foods or you could probably find it at any health store and this is uh, Rich in iron and B vitamins, easily absorbed, gluten-free, yeast-free. So this is what I take. And it's disgusting, honestly, but usually things that's good for you is disgusting. So what I do is I just mix it with my orange juice. So I guess this will be the first thing that I do for my immune system. So this, like I said, this is going to be like a merged video. What I eat in a day and what I do for my immune system. So yeah, first things first, I'm going to pour some orange juice. And then there's like a measuring cup, cup that comes with this, but I just normally like, I've been taking this so long, I know what to, I just know to pour a little bit. Just mix it in a little bit. You're going to see the color change because of the liquid vitamin. Yeah. So cheers to my little iron girls. If that's your first time taking this, it's not gonna taste the best, but again, I've been taking this for so long, it's not a problem for me. So yeah, first thing I do for my immune system is mix the orange juice with my iron supplement. Okay, now let's get into breakfast. So for my egg white omelets, I'm gonna be using two eggs. And I know I could just buy the egg whites in the container, but I don't know, something about me just having the actual egg and cracking it and getting the egg whites is better with me. Sometimes I do use the carton of egg whites that they sell in the store. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, a little bit of pepper, black pepper, a little bit of garlic, and that's it. I'm gonna put on the pot for the wrap and the pot for the egg whites. I'm going to spray some of this for the egg whites as well as for the wrap. I'm going to heat these up on both sides so they could be like nice and browned a little bit and warmed. And then I'm going to put the egg whites on it to finish. So stay tuned. And if you like a lot of eggs, you can make like more egg whites here. And if you want to put spinach, onions, peppers, like if you want to make like an actual little omelet and then use that, you can. I didn't really want anything besides cheese, so that's what I did. Okay, so that was a nice, quick, simple breakfast that I made, the egg white wrap. And nice, simple, healthy, delicious. And I'm just gonna go ahead and have some water with this. And probably like 20 minutes after I have this, I'll make some tea. Just relax for a little while and then I'll see you guys when it's lunchtime. So I'm back. So my breakfast was delicious, that's done. And normally, like I said, I'll just have something like that or avocado toast or something, but I'm still hungry. So I am going to actually make me some grits 
and just a little bit of grits. Cause my measurements be off. I just learned how to make grits. I love grits, but I never knew how to make them. So I just actually learned how to get them good. So I be making a little excess sometimes. So I'm gonna make me a small, small serving of grits and a small piece of salmon. And so you might, you guys might not get what I eat for lunch because I'm about to have a second breakfast. But we'll see how things go. We'll, we'll see how things go. So I guess we're gonna call this brunch. So you guys have breakfast. That was the egg white wraps. And now we're gonna do brunch. It's gonna be salmon and grits. So let's, let's go, let's do this. Okay guys, so before I go for a while, I'm gonna just go ahead and eat brunch. So this is the salmon I made with the grits, really quick, really simple. Again, I put my salmon in the air fryer, and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this brunch, and I might take a nap after this. So I will come back when I either do lunch or when I do dinner. And again, stay tuned for what I do for my immune system. Hey guys, so I'm just checking in. I just got up from a little nap, and I'm gonna just eat some of this matcha green tea ice cream as my snack before I get up and make dinner. Hey guys, I'm back with the final part of this video and this is gonna be what I'm having for dinner. So um, I know I had salmon earlier, but I'm actually gonna have salmon tonight, salmon again for dinner. And I'm gonna be making salmon. And I think I might put like a honey garlic glaze on top. I'll show you guys once I do it. I'm gonna do yellow rice fried plantains, and most likely some spinach. And inside the spinach, I'm gonna put tomatoes and onions and garlic. So yeah, stay tuned for dinner. As promised, also, I'm gonna show you guys what I do to boost my immune system, to stay feeling good and healthy and everything like that. So let's get into that. So first things first, I'm just showing you this is because it's what I use, but I would say the most important thing or number one on the list would be to hydrate. Make sure you drink water. Try to drink water all throughout the day. It flushes your body, it keeps you hydrated because we know dehydration can lead to other health issues. So number one on my list is definitely water. I drink water all day, every day. As I mentioned to you guys earlier, I do have low iron. So for me on my list, number two is my liquid iron. Very, very important for me. Um, helps me stay in good, good health because low iron can lead to other things as well. So for me, number two is my liquid iron. Number three, I would say consume some type of citrus, whether it's grapefruits, orange juice, um, oranges, lemons, limes, things of that nature. Consume some type of citrus. And if you don't want to eat it directly, you can just like have a cup of hot water in the morning and put some lime juice in there. That works, that's nice and simple, so yeah. So for me, number four is turmeric. It um, helps with um, inflammation in the body and especially since I had my two surgeries last year and I had inflammation in the area where I had surgery I do consume turmeric so I have these turmeric gummies pears from mega food and I also drink this um, tea it's called daily wellness this is it here this would be my I guess this is number four turmeric consume some sort of turmeric number four for number five i'm gonna kind of bulk this up so for number five i would say sea moss whether it's a gel whether it's a pill um my cousin told me about this sea moss immunity supplement organic irish sea moss elderberry vitamin c d b9 b12 and iron so this or some like i said some actual sea moss that you make and turn into a gel you can put this in like applesauce smoothies tea yogurt whatever you wanna put this in. Along with sea moss, I would say just like a daily vitamin or some type of vitamin. So this is the Garden of Life Vitamin Cold for women. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm really bad at taking my daily vitamins, but I do need to get better because it has a lot of good things in there. Vitamin A, C, D, E, K, et cetera, et cetera. Also a raw pri probiotic, a raw pri probiotic, basically just for like gut health and stuff like that. And that's just like the main things. And of course, some other things, um, I would say it's good to cook with like onions, garlic, things of that nature. Um, yeah, and like I said, that's just what I do. Um, it may work for me, it may not work for you or it may work for you as well. 
But if you have any tips or tricks or if you want to let me know how you keep your immune system good, you can also post it down below or make a comment down below just so you can let everyone else know some tips you do. And yeah, but that was just like a summary. Of course, some days you do some other things and some days you don't. There's some things that I should be doing better. Some things I want to try, like I'm going to try to do like a three day juice cleanse soon i'm gonna get a juicer i'm gonna start dinner and i'll just come back um to close out so i will talk to you guys once dinner is up. okay guys so this is the final product this is dinner the last meal of my what i eat in a day and i decided i didn't want the salmon anymore so i just have some fried plantains some spinach i made with onions tomatoes and garlic and some yellow rice and for some reason, I like eating my fried plantains with cheese. So I'm going to have some Gouda cheese with my plantains and call it a night.